Hey guys, it's Carrie Ann, and this week's book pick is a picture book. Three Balls of Wool Can Change the World. I thought this book was perfect as we enter the new year, thinking about change and how to be better. And we think that as adults and parents, how we're gonna be a better parent, but we're also thinking about how we can help our kids improve, be kinder, be nicer. This book, published in partnership with Amnesty International, is all about change. So it's a story told from an eight-year-old girl who lives with her family in Portugal during the dictatorship, and her parents are constantly worried just sort of about the life and how everything is around them. They said words I didn't understand, words they whispered to each other like ignorance, fear, war, prison. One day, I heard them say exile. So the family leaves Portugal to try and find a better place, leaving everything behind. And they try Romania, they try Czechoslovakia. When they do move, when they do find a new place, at first it seems better. The kids all go to school, the weather's nicer. Over a short period of time, this changes. It gets grayer, it gets colder. And the mother noticed that everybody wears the same sort of color clothes. It's either gray, orange, or green. And that's all that's available to buy. That's all anybody wears. And she also made a comment when the kids are are lining up in their colored sweaters to go to school. They look like an army marching in their uniforms, mom whispered to dad. So there's a concern about this state conformity. And so the mother has a great, uh, has an idea to change that. And she does uh, simply by unraveling the sweaters that she has in those three basic colors and making something completely different, which this change, the simple act causes people to question what's going on and causes people to question why they're all doing the same thing and maybe doing something different is sort of better. Most of us are very fortunate to live in a country where we have sort of these rights and freedoms, but even in some first world countries, not everybody has those rights, those same rights. So it's a it's a reminder to question, it's a reminder to speak up for others, it's a reminder that change and breaking from conformity can be a good thing. And that maybe not just accepting what's given to you um, is the way to go. So that's this week's book pick. I'll be sure to leave a link below to the full review of the book and how you can get your copy of it. <laughs> As always, you can find me here on Wednesdays talking about books for kids, but I'm also here talking mom confessions, family travel, and other fun family stuff. So don't forget to subscribe so you know when the next video is published. And until next time, ciao.